don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up. Greetings, Redheads. Thank you for joining us in another episode of your favorite show, the one and only Red's View. Yes, sir. I'm your gracious host, Jay Red, joined by the most honorable, legendary DJ PM, as I call him now the PM of all DJs, whatever that means. But uh, he's joining me yet again. We do this weekly, so y'all always make sure y'all tune in. And always make sure that you subscribe to youtube.com slash we authentic network hit that bell for notifications you get all the alerts when we drop stuff all right now um it's been an eventful one thing about this quarantine and you know the covid stuff that's going on okay we have been entertained definitely like, just we really i think we've been more entertained uh since because it's a lot of people that ain't got a lot that's to what do. I, was about to, I was gonna say i think we got more time to soak in the entertainment <laughs> now than anything it is crazy yeah. man uh because me and you blow each other's inboxes man. up about stuff because it's always something you right, know right, right 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 so with it always being something let's go into uh talk about nelly real quick okay uh so the nelly and Ludacris battle for those who didn't see it uh it was it was funny. Uh, Cornell let me down. Cornell he Haynes let, me down. let you down. He let me down. I now I want everybody to just give a moment of silence, right? <laughs> and now thank J Red. You got to be able to give me my props. I know what now I'm you talking was right. about. You called it. You I called. called it. You called it. Yeah. I ain't gonna say you know what you're talking about. Oh wow. Oh okay. <laughs> but you did call I it. I told y'all from the get go that Nelly was gonna lose that Man. battle. I told you that he doesn't have nearly as many hits as that's Luda. not true though. Yes, it is. I think Nelly left a lot of records on the table. Well, not a lot, but like three or four records. Like yeah. he didn't even play number one. He didn't play. I'm number like, one. dog. How do you not play number one? He didn't play number Take one. Take that BS uh, record he played that nobody even knew. he played. First of all, he played like three records nobody knew. He played the get. I see. The thing is, I knew some of those records okay. because I follow. Uh, hip hop. Right. Not saying I'm a fan of those albums, okay. but he had this album called Five that came out. Yeah, trash. Just a dream. You heard it? Yes. Just a dream was on there. That Just, was a big Just song. Just a dream was a big song, but we're not he I'm gonna tell you. He black, thought he was battling Flow Rider. Black you're right. Black folks didn't like that. We was like, we didn't what know is this? about that song. We was like, what is this? Yes, it was a pop song. Yes. It was a big pop song to the fact to where I don't even think white people knew who rapped it. No. They just knew it was Yo, a, a Just song. a Dream was a phenomenal world record Why, yeah when nelly introduced it he said oh we playing stadium stadium music, music huh? yeah which he is correct yeah that, that is, is a stadium, stadium song. song yeah if you are at a garth brooks concert <laughs> or a three doors down concert yeah, yeah. or a miley cyrus concert right or not, a Tim mcgraw correct something like that not yeah. a florida georgia line right not a hip-hop exactly he yo he he started off with nine to nine now which and I named it last time. We was like, that's not a hit. Bro, now, I'm not saying it was a bad song. No, but it's a no terrible battle. song to start off. A culture battle. Exactly. This is a culture battle. Yes. Yeah, he he he, he miscued a lot. Yes. Miscued a lot. Uh, and he got his Teddy Riley on. Shout out to Teddy Riley. See the shirt. Hey, man. I, I had to cop this, man. People, is that an official Teddy Riley shirt? Sure official. Oh, okay, Teddy's right, selling cool, it, man. Because cool, uh, you know there's a lot of bootlegs. There's a lot of bootlegs. Like no, nah, but yeah. I got an email from Teddy Riley and stuff. So okay. shout out to Teddy Riley shout for out to the Teddy shirt. Riley. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Nelly. Ne and then Nelly was talking about, yeah, it's storming outside. That's why my internet. Yeah. Act Nigga, my internet ain't never acted up because it was raining. My, my Does internet. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, well, so we y'all need got, We got Spectrum. Yeah, y'all need yeah, that. So he probably has Spectrum. Yeah, I got uh, AT&T. But yeah, when it <laughs> rained, it be doing that. But uh, yeah, he started off wrong. Uh, you know, off the, Luda was ready. Yes, he was. But one thing, and I'm going to get it out the way now, Swizz and Tim with the Versus series, uh -huh. they need their own platform. I, because Instagram Live, like with the Teddy Riley issues with the internet and yeah. stuff, I don't think that Wi-Fi, like, that particular platform wasn't meant to have versus battles. It's not, yo, it's not meant to house 500,000 people. Instagram Live is not meant for that. Yeah, it's not meant for two people to simultaneously stream yeah. and stream music. Yeah. And like, it's, it's just not built for that. And not only that, I don't mean to cut you yeah, off, go ahead. but not only that, but Timbo and Swiss are missing out on so much yes, money. They are. Bro, yeah. do you understand if they created their own app, 
do for it. their own website and drove that traffic there. Yes. Off advertisement alone, they, they can kill it. Bro. Now, I'm quite sure they're getting some type of bag. Well, I'm Instagram, sure they are too because that's the reason why they're doing, they're it, doing it through yeah. versus. Yeah. And that's the reason why they have to pin it the yeah. way they pin it yeah. and all that. Absolutely. But come on, bro. It wasn't meant to have a bill. And that's 500,000 people is just what you see on there. Right. After those battles get finished, those are millions of people. Correct. And it's billions of impressions. It have, and that's what I was about to say. It has millions of impressions, if not billions. But no, it is billions. Okay. The Erica Badu had billions. Yeah. And the Luda and Nelly had wow. billions of impressions. So, yeah, I just think that to avoid those issues, I get so mad at the Wi Fi stuff. Right. But really, the platform isn't meant for that. No, it's not. They made it like the, that. And they need to smarten up, build their own platform. Absolutely. But uh yeah, Luda won that. Shout out to Yeah, Atlanta. shout out to Luda. Shout, shout out, out to the to DTP Luda. family holding yeah. the judge. So let's Even talk he's from Chicago. Right. He really yeah. is. And he sounds like he's from Chicago. Yeah. But my homeboy from Chicago say Luda is not from Chicago. He say he from Oh, he's from Champaign. Exactly. Yeah, he don't ever say Chicago, he say Champaign, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh that, that explains his dialect. Because he don't really sound like he's from here. No. Especially yeah. not the South Side. Absolutely know, not. Niggas on the South Side. God damn, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Luda, 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 Luda is real proper, yeah, especially when he raps. Yeah. Shout so, out to Luda, let's talk about Usher versus Chris Brown. That's a battle that possibly may happen. I don't the see versus. that. I don't... I mean... I don't know if I see that happening. I would hope it would, but yeah. I think that Chris Brown is still... I ain't gonna say new, Yeah. but you know... When nah, I think of verses, ten years in. he's 10 years in, but when I think of verses, usually it's been people that's 20 years in the game. Yeah. At or least, or at least people who's, who came out around the same time yeah. or who... Absolutely. Like, it, where it makes sense that they battle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Usher needs to battle nobody like Breezy, yeah. even though Breezy and Usher Correct. match each other when it comes to stardom, yeah. when it comes to... Both uh, were the kings of R&B at one point. Yeah. Um, absolutely. But I, 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 I don't see it happening either. If it did happen, I absolutely. Well, this is the thing. Does Chris Brown have more hits than Usher? Over time, so I this is what I'm gonna say. Chris Brown may have may have more hits than Usher. Yeah. But he ain't got more records that people care about than Usher. Absolutely. absolutely. He might have more Billboard entries. Yeah. But he also puts out. 30 songs on one album. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So really, does that count? That's why I was thinking, like, Usher has classic records. That people actually that, that care, people about. care about. Yeah. People know. Usher has classic albums. He does. That people care about. People Correct. know. You know what I'm saying? So that goes into me talking about Chris Brown. Okay. So I saw a meme. Well, like an article. Uh, what was it? Picture. Meme, I know whatever. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. whatever. And it, it was just basically saying that Chris Brown... It's 10 years in, yet he does not ha he hasn't done anything iconic. Mm. He has no iconic album, uh, no iconic look, okay. no iconic singles. He just is, I guess, based on he's he's a superstar. Right. And super talented. Right. But he doesn't have a thriller. He doesn't have a so, purple rain. He doesn't have something that just makes him stand out. So he's I a real gloves. he's a real pop star then. Because like I, and, and let me be careful when I say this because I know that people are gonna hate it. Yeah, because like, even like, I to me, Off the Wall was better than Thriller, but Thriller went like crazy numbers. Yeah. But it wasn't because it was pop. It was because it was super artistic. Yeah. The absolutely. way they did, the way they delivered it mm -hmm. and packaged it. Yeah. So like, I think on the other hand, even though Michael Jackson is undoubtedly the king of pop. Yeah. I think that was so artistically done yeah. that that's why it's like heralded as like this big yeah in and, and, and again in my opinion off the wall is a better album um but chris brown doesn't really have anything he doesn't per se now, people, like that people I mean, were, he dyes his hair i mean but and, <laughs> and, and that's back not, yeah and that's not to say he's not yeah. talented because i said the other day to that, me yeah. he's, he's the best talented. he's the best dancer of all time as far as r&b so what i go. yeah so what i will say is that when I say he doesn't have that, because I agree with the article, what right. they said, um, he is great. Chris Brown is talented. Undoubted. Like, super talented. But when you look back at it, he doesn't have anything. When I say iconic, I'm not talking about y'all's favorite albums. Correct. Okay? For instance, you know, I'm a big Bone fan. Right. And I love Bone Records, but East 1999 is their only hip-hop classic. It is. Now, Art of War is a Bone classic. Right. But, and it sold well, but... 
in hip hop right. to make a staple. East 1999 is that. Right. You know what I'm saying? They had another album that I love, and it's a bone classic. Okay. But it's you know they only have one iconic album. Gotcha. Chris Brown. Like Nas. Nice. No. Nah, <laughs> yeah. I, iconic. Yeah. So Ill Ill Maddox is only yeah. iconic, but he got other classics though. Your opinion. Yeah. Anyway, I don't feel like I'm not going there with you today. But anyway, let I me get trying, this. I've been trying people, to get him. Go ahead. You're trying to get me. Bad. But Chris Brown, people will talk about exclusive. People will talk about fame. They'll talk yeah. about this. Now, Graffiti I think, was classic to me. I, let me get, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> so thing is, because no, it wasn't. But anyway, listen. Yes, it was. So I don't think that he has had any classic song, per That's, se. I got to disagree well, with that. Well, oh, let me take a minute. Not classic song, but just something that makes him an icon. When you look back 20 years from now, I, 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 will you be able to look back yes. at Chris Brown's albums and say, oh, that album was for the times right there? I can't say he has a collection mm. of a body of work. Him and Drake are in the same boat to me. I, so this is what I'll say about Chris Brown. I don't think he has one particular classic album, but I think his entire catalog and body of work combi what body of combined work? with his entertainment aspect it's what makes him the icon that he is. What body of work? I mean, the graffiti album is classic That's not a body of work. The graffiti album is classic to me. Fame was great. Fame was a dope album. Uh, Exclusive uh, was a dope album. What was the album before Indigo? Uh, uh, dark, uh, dark something on a full moon. Oh, Heartbreak yeah, Heartbreak yeah. on a full moon. That's what it's uh, called. X Heart was a dope project. X was dope. Yeah. Heartbreak on a full moon was dope. Yeah. Um... Indigo was dope. So my thing is like, like I think we agree. Ex besides, I think Graffiti was a classic. But besides that, he doesn't have a classic album. But I think he consistently puts out. He puts out great good material. Work. Yeah. Now yeah. I think and you that, couple that with the dancing. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so I think that he definitely is larger than life. Yeah. But when you talk about iconic stuff, like even Michael Jackson. You know him for the gloves. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's what they said. The moonwalk. Iconic look. Yeah, yeah, the, the moonwalk. moonwalk. Chris Brown hasn't done anything like that. So you want him to turn into a white woman? Absolutely not. I mean, that's no. one iconic thing about Michael no. Jackson, right? Okay, let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to come I mean, well, I ain't finna go there. Boy, they gonna hate you. I know it. Uh, let's talk about Beyonce. Do you think okay. she has any iconic album? Four. That was iconic? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think Lemonade was iconic for the time as well too yeah. because it was like a very in-depth personal um could... look into her life. Yeah. But I think 4 was is her most iconic album. I don't mean. Okay, I don't think she has any iconic albums. No? No. You don't think 4 was iconic? No. What about Beyoncé? No. She doesn't Lemonade? have any iconic albums. No. I'm just naming all of them. Yeah. Because I, I want the Beehive on my side. When they uh, eat oh, you yeah. up. <laughs> I don't. Now look. <laughs> look. Beehive, I tried. No, no, look. I tried. I swear. Look, look, like Beyonce is the greatest artist of our time, would I say? Arguably. Arguably. Yeah. yeah. She's up there. Yeah. But, uh, and she's had iconic performances. Of I course. will say that. And iconic yeah. songs. A iconic songs. Yeah. But I can't say as far as her bodies of work, I look back at those and be like, oh man. Like, Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or certain things that I can say in history, like that album right there. Now, she has had some classic songs, right. like I said. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Four is a classic album. Yeah. yeah. And I, just to play devil's advocate, we're not really her target audience. We're not. Anyway, we're, we're so, not. But yeah. I think people, it's a lot of people that have agreed yeah. with me about that. Yo, I know a girl that'll fight you if you said that to her. Who? Brittany? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Brittany don't. I forget that. Not, not Brittany. Brittany. Yeah. yeah. But another okay. girl. Yeah. All right. No, it's a bunch of girls I'm, that are fighting. She'll me fight you if you said that. Like, fight, me. like, like fight you. Fight, fight, she might yeah. stab you. Okay. Like, she you. might be the president of the Beehive. Yeah. Like, this is no joke. This girl is so crazy. Um, Every year she sings Happy Birthday to Beyonce. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, uh, Jared Henderson may kill me, too. He's a uh, famous um, uh, is beautician, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he went Jack State. Shout out to Jared Henderson. But he. He'll kill me too. I don't know that. Yeah. yeah. Jay, stay ready. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, but, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I, but Beyonce, I kind of feel the same so way. So, no classic albums for Beyonce? No. All right. While we're on the subject of Beyonce, I got a question for you. Shoot. What do you think about Beyonce's rapping? <laughs> That's a good question. I think whoever her writers are are dope. Are very dope. <laughs> They're dope. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Whoever's writing Beyonce's raps are They're dope. Because she killed the Savage remix to me. Killed it. The bars were good. The bars were good. Yeah. Yeah. The bars were good. Yeah. I, I could say that. But yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I was I, just wondering. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. listen to no Beyonce rap album. I mean, of course. If that's not. what you But asking. again, you're not her audience. I wouldn't do it. You're not her so, audience. Just like I wouldn't hear Jay Z sing on an album. No. 
Yeah. Gosh, no, I hope he never does, <laughs> never does that. If Jay Z ever comes out with a song with Auto Tune, I'm done. Right. As much as he denounced it so yeah. much. Let's talk about future. Yes. So, Speaking of Auto Tune. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Auto Tune. <laughs> future has the a new album he put out called High Off Life. Correct. I thought that Life is Good was going to be the name of the album. Mm. With I thought him and Drake were going to put that out together. Yeah. But that's just a single. Like a um, uh, What a Time to Be Alive yeah, 2. Two. Yeah. 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 But. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, and we have high off life. Right. I'm not gonna lie to you. I lost interest in Future as an artist making an album years ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard any Future song that I really like. But Life Is Good was a dope, yes. a dope song. But I mean, I, I just wasn't looking when I heard that he was dropping it. Right. Um, I was just like, okay, cool. If and I and I think I said this about his last album, The Wizard. I think right. that may have been the yeah. last one. If it comes to me, a song will come to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll we'll spin it, you know what I'm saying, or whatever like that. But I've heard nothing but negative reviews about it. I've heard that he's ran out of juice. Okay. And creatively, he's at a standstill. So I've heard the complete opposite, actually. Really? Um, and, and, I heard it's in, trash. In my, in my nightlife circle, though. Oh, okay. So you got to remember, they listening with club ears. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I'm going to say about Future. I feel like I've outgrown his music. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't feel, again, like I was just saying about Beyonce, I don't think I'm his target audience anymore. Yeah, me neither. Um, in the club, the hits, of course I want to hear them. When I'm drunk, of course I want to hear them. Um, but as far as like just riding around and listening in the future, I, yeah, we, I'm just... pretty much grown out yeah, of it. Yeah, I've, I've grown out of it. Yeah. High of Life is a dope album for what it's for. Um, but I, I just need more now. For my musical part. Yeah, and the thing is, I know that he went gold right. based off Instantly. of the Life is Good yeah. single. single of which I hate how they yeah, do it they, that way. They, I mean, they're manipulating that. Yeah, they You are. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you put out a single three months before the album, and then when the album drops, it's automatically. It automatically, yeah. yeah, with the screen. It's smart. I'm not mad at them. Yeah, it's smart, but I just don't like people just being like, oh my God, this went gold. I'm like, right. bro, 500,000 people did not go in directly buy that album. Correct. But anyway, shout out to Future though. Shout out to Future though. Uh, um yeah. like I said, I, I love his old stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Same damn time. I dog, I played uh ah uh, what was the future song I played? I can't I, even I remember played, right now. Ain't no way around it yeah, the other day. I, I played that's some future song the other day, first night back last Saturday at Cert. Um and it went crazy like it was a brand new song. So it ain't to say that future ain't legendary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I'm his yeah. new music yeah. It's just not, it's just for, not me. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Future. So, um, other battles that are talked about right now or are being talked about, we got DMX versus Eminem, right. possibly. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Two legendary artists. Yeah. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of either. Uh, I actually was a, this is going to come as a surprise, was a bigger fan of, of Eminem, Eminem yeah, of course. than DMX. Because by the time um, you started listening to rap, yeah, 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 Eminem yeah, had, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you know the background. Grew up in a... My dad a pastor, my mom a minister, so I couldn't listen to real rap music. Yeah, so I you, missed that whole early nineties. Yeah. Actually I missed the entire nineties. You missed the late nineties. As too, far man. as as far as like <laughs> as far as like whole albums for sure. Yeah. Then I didn't have cable, so I couldn't watch videos well, and nothing like that. Yeah, I you know, know what I'm saying? Cable, no, I ain't had yeah. cable growing up. So yeah, yeah. I probably didn't get cable to like oh four. Yeah, wow. like 2004, oh my something God. like that, like my sophomore so year in high school. you the wrestling and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, unless I was at like somebody else's career, but I didn't oh, see okay, none of that. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, the honest to God, like the first rap that I listened to consistently was the Big Timers album. Oh, okay. Um, I like, thought Bow Wow was the first nah, one. Nah, man, I, I don't, I'm not counting Bow Wow. Yeah. I'm saying like real rap, like yeah. not... You're not right. kid rap. Got you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, DMX, I'm a fan of both uh, him and Eminem. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to say because with that battle, even though they're MCs, right. Eminem has a lot of pop records. Right. So I'm not sure if their audiences are kind of the same. No. Cause DM, not at all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the first half will probably be hip hop like right. we want, but then after a while, Eminem may fuck around and play uh, a real Slim Shady. Not, not Afraid. Or something like that. And I, it's, you know. I, I would I would say that they don't have the same audience at yeah. all. Um, I would also say that if DMX battled Eminem, it would put up record numbers on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, mean, yeah. a million people yeah, minimum. Would, yeah, absolutely. Min and I'm talking about own. Now, Not a million impressions. Yeah. I'm talking about a, a million. million people watching. Yeah. But, you know, it's been millions of people actually watching. Well, we broke that down. Because, yeah. you know, they all not... Watching at the same time. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, the, uh, Instagram might crash if DMX battle Eminem. Yeah. Because of 
Eminem has such a big following, bro, yeah. from like black, white, young, old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True hip hop yeah. heads to people that like pop, pop music. Yeah, all that. And then DMX. You mix that in with DMX's and core then DMX fan base. just has a core fan base of yeah. people who like real rap. And you music. know what I'll say is that I think people like DMX, right. 3 6, okay. Bone Thugs, okay. they have bigger core fan bases than a lot of these major artists. They core fan bases core yes, fan like bases. people that love their music yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and they're in numbers too, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like of course a Drake would sell more. But Drake is more popular. He's more That's pop. Why. But you know, I think that like when you look at the core fan right, base right, right. like a DMS well, if like they will come in droves. Yeah. But anyway, um so that may be happening. It's talked about uh, LL Cool J and Ice Cube. I would love to see that. L actually. Yeah, that's that. That'll be a super yeah. interesting battle because they come from that same background. Both started rapping in the '80s right. or came out in the '80s. Right. Uh, Ice Cube. Now, I feel like oh, all in all, LL may end up winning because okay. he has more versatility when it comes to uh, songs. Right. Ice Cube ain't got no love songs. Not that did well anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so LL is the king of that, but Ice Cube has a lot of prolific records. Yeah, he so, does. He got a lot of yeah. older records that's just gonna smash. But LL got older records too. That too. Like that Mama, yeah. Mama said, "Knock Mama you, said out. you out." That's classic. Bad, dog. bad, bad is, is one classic. of the hardest beats. You that's know what I'm classic. Saying? Yeah. Um, um, rock the bells. Yeah, rock the bells. Come on, yeah. man. Like, like they, they are both the true essence yeah. of hip hop. Oh, Anybody course. who started rapping in the or who came out rapping in the '80s. And lasted through the nineties right. and the two thousands. Shout out to uh, to to Ice Cube. Right. Shout out to LL Cool J. Because at first, you know, at one time LL was the goat. No, he was. Yeah, LL time, was running hip hop, dude. I'm talking about from eighty five all the way up until when he slowed down, like maybe like oh six. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, dude, he yeah. came out of that eighties <laughs> yeah. Run DMC era, dude. Yeah. Like LL was was the goat, right? But I Which I don't, he wasn't the goat in the 2000s, but but still he, was, he yeah. had like when you talk about greatest of all time, yeah, yeah, you can trace yeah, him yeah, back yeah. there. Oh yeah, definitely. And he was shitting his, on everybody. His run is his run was immaculate. Yeah, the only person had a longer run than LL Jay might be Jay. Yeah, Snoop was there too at one point. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, but I don't think Snoop was the reason I say might be Jay Z because I don't think anybody ever considered Snoop the king. Snoop came out with a really dope. First album, yeah, and then he's kind of dwindled, he dwindled ever off. Since. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah. he still was able to stay relevant. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, he's always relevant. He always he always gives you a hit. He always you, yeah, I get what you're saying. Music. But when you're talking about, but he's albums, never been considered the king. Yeah, of rap. king of rap. Yeah, they ain't gonna call him the goat. No. It's just he was the he's great, a legendary hip hop yeah, hip hop artist. Who we absolutely. Love. So hopefully that will be dope. Uh, I was actually watching Ice Cube. His he had a 30th anniversary for his, no, it wasn't. Was it 30 years? I think it was I 30. Think it was years, 30. Uh, for his uh, first de his debut album, um, which was America's solo. solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, America's most wanted, and that's a classic record. Right. If anybody ain't never checked that out, it's Ice Cube from back then mixed with Public Enemy. Mm. Public Enemy's pr production by the Bomb Squad. Have yeah. you ever heard of that album? I heard some of it. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's it's about. I'm not a I know you're not big with I'm that. I'm not a but, big West Coast fan. Honestly. But that really that was East Coast production, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I check it out. Yeah, again. check it out. It, I check it was, out again. It's one of the. Best I might I might appreciate it now as an adult versus versus when, I was when you were back trying then. to go back yeah. to those type of. Because Ice Cube wasn't never just like NWA even didn't have that West Coast sound yeah, at yeah, first. Yeah. But eventually, once the synthesizers and Dr. Yeah. Dre got into the funk, that's when the West Coast, the sound as we know right. it now, came out. When they started, when they saw who who. What'd you say? Well, I didn't say nothing. Okay. I'm I don't want the sure. West Coast mad at me. All right. Buster versus Snoop. Yes. Uh, Buster Rhymes versus Snoop Dogg. That may be happening. They, it's been talks of it. I'm not interested in that battle at all. Um, those are very great. They're, they're yeah. great artists. They both came around the same time because people forget Buster Rhymes came out with Leaders of the New School Correct. first in the early 90s, and then he broke away and became a bona fide superstar. superstar. Yeah, he did. Uh, he was in movies and all kind of stuff. So both of them can kind of compare when it comes to how long they lasted, but I think they make different types of music. I think they definitely make different types of music. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, anyway. I, I think I will say this. I think Busta Rhymes is highly, highly underrated as a rapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah he's, I, he's very versatile. Yeah. And, and I think that he gets caught up in being silly sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, he, I think he falls victim of the same thing Ludacris falls victim of. Ludacris falls victim, victim yeah. of. But his was a little worse, I think. Mm, I don't know. 
No. It may have been the same. Yeah, it might have been the same. Because people, I mean, people were really buying Ludacris albums. But people yeah. were buying Busta albums. They were, Busta, especially in that East Coast cluster. Yeah, but I've never really just known anybody personally that said, I'm going to go get that new Busta Rhymes. Now, yeah. his singles. But, I mean, you got to think about where you're from, though, versus true, true. the right. East Coast. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. Yeah. But people were saying, I'm going to go buy this Nas, though. Yeah, but that's because Nas was a bigger artist than Busta. Yeah, yeah, true, but um, I don't know. People waste money on a lot of shit. No, they don't yeah. waste money. Nas on albums. Nas albums. Yeah. Uh, okay. A lot of stuff. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay. Man, Original got... flavor albums too. I, I just I don't know who that is. Hawaiian Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> just make I sure. I don't know what that <laughs> is. You don't know what that, that is. About. Okay. That's like Jordan with the Wizards. Like uh, certain shit just never happened. Just never happened. Okay. All right. Jay Z with the hot top. <laughs> okay. All right. So then, <laughs> Buster never had a hot top, dude. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Buster versus Snoop, because you know I love talking about. I love getting that him Hawaiian Sophie. I don't know what you're talking about, right, dude. Exactly. Hawaiian, what is that like a Hawaiian punch yeah, a Hawaiian special punch. flavor right. or yeah. something? That's what it is. So Buster versus Snoop maybe happening on the versus series. Okay. And I'm going to say I would just catch the highlights. I will watch it. Yeah. I I, I watch it. Yeah. Yeah. For uh, now let's talk about uh, go back to Ludacris. Okay, he leaked a single with Lil Wayne, produced yes. by Timberland. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Uh, the internet went crazy yes. over that record. Um, Not all good, huh? Not all for good though. I know. Yeah. Well, I was gonna get to that. Oh, okay, my bad. But <laughs> okay, so this is what I will say about Luda in twenty twenty. <laughs> uh, okay, so Luda. To me, you know how if Run DMC put out a, a song right now, they're going to sound too in that time? Yeah, for the most part. Luda sounds too into what the fuck ever time that was. Like, that he got trapped in? Yeah. Yeah. And I heard him rapping, and he was spitting. He oh, was spitting bars. The bars is there. Luda is dope. He's a dope rapper. But when he was rapping, it, only, I was just like, it just, it don't sound. Because at the time when he came out, that was like a fresh, refreshing right. sound. Because it was traditional hip hop, you right. know what I'm saying? But now... It just sounds like a little dated, like mm-hmm. his flow. Yeah. Um, and it was a dope track, yeah. but it was a line that stood out saying that he loves R. Kelly, but I wouldn't leave my daughter But he's around uncomfortable him. around his daughter. Daughter or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. Uh, Which, I mean, man, half the people that know who R. Kelly is feel that way, in my yeah. opinion. Like, half the people is like, oh, R. Kelly's disgusting, cancel him, I'll never listen to his music. Right. And the other half is like, man... Forget R. Kelly, the rapist. I just like R. Kelly. He's not a rapist. Uh, he's a molester. Well, well no, he's uh, a abuser. Because he's not. It's not. Well, I guess it's I, statutory. Well, he's a statutory rapist. Gotcha. So, yeah, okay. You know. I just want to be precise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. I don't yeah. want to get sued. You're right. Yeah. For definitely. Allegedly. Yeah. That's how I'll say that. Allegedly. Because he still ain't he still, convicted. He still ain't going to be convicted. Yeah, so, yeah. allegedly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Appreciate that. Yeah. But did you like the Ludacris song? I like the record. I think I like Wayne verse a lot. And Luda's verse is cool, but again, my problem with Ludacris is that, like, he's spitting. He's yeah, spitting. And the, the stuff he's saying is very provocative. Yeah. But it's, to me, it's just like, this. all right, this is what I said the other day to my homeboy. Luda's verse is like white rice, right? And Lil Wayne's verse is like hibachi rice. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're both good. Like, you'll eat white rice by itself. Yeah. But if you had a choice, yeah. you're going to take hibachi rice. Like, it, Wayne's verse was just sauced up, like, that, the way he came in. And Luda's verse is just like, ah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But he was spitting, though. I'll say that. The bars is there. Yeah, the bars. It's the presentation. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like if His you, delivery. Correct. It's like if I bought you a Christmas present, right? Yeah. And instead of wrapping it, I just gave it to you in the bag. You'd be like, yeah, damn, yeah, nigga, yeah. you didn't take no... Yeah. Put no thought into this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he now, still took the gift, though. Right. Yeah. Now, I saw that he also said that um, he it may be, or he was alluding to uh, Usher, Ludacris, and Lil Jon album. Yeah. I, uh, Lil Jon been talking about that, too, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I'll sit on it. I'm straight on the whole album. Yeah. I'll, yeah <laughs> I, me, I, I'm good on that. Give, give me an EP. Yeah. Three three to five songs, and I'll be straight. I don't even think I want an EP. Yeah, y'all. three to five songs, and it'll be straight. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, three to five songs. Uh, because it's just like it's like the sex beat song. Yeah. Um, you know that was cool. Sex beat was cool. Yeah, but yeah. It's, that's about it. Like yeah. it's I don't really. I mean, I guess for fans that grew up during that time, yeah. or you know, when they were popping. Yeah. But neither one of those three are popping like they used to. Right. So I mean, I guess it, for nostalgia, it'll be all right. Did you see they tried to put out a dance? Oh, to sex beat? Yeah. Well, not to sex beat. To um, Usher's new song? Yeah. Yeah. It's called Put the Sauce on It. Yeah, I saw yeah. it. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. 
You got to try what you can, man. I man, you, hey, nothing beats a failure but a try. Yeah. Uh, that's so funny. My iPhone did that. It recorded what I said. Oh, did it? Yeah, that's oh, strange. Yeah. I didn't even want to do that. All right, so let's talk about uh, one more thing. Okay. So Timberland was trending, and for some reason, Magoo came up. Oh, man. Does everybody remember Timberland and Magoo? Shout out to Magoo, man. Hey, so he was trending, but it was for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Magoo. Where is Magoo these days, I man? I don't know, man. Timbo just dropped him, didn't it? Uh, man, so Magoo, <laughs> Magoo uh, they called him the worst rapper of all time. False. They say he's the worst rapper of False. all time. False. That is a gross overstatement. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Magoo was that, ba- wasn't Magoo that bad. Magoo was bro. not that bad, he bro. Was, he was all right. I can name you three, four, five rappers right now worse That's than worse Magoo. That's worse than Magoo, right. Lil, Lil, Lil B. B. Absolutely. Uh, Emil? No. Emilie? No. From, from Rockefeller Records. No, Lil she B. Uh, what's the other dude from the California? Uh, Blueface. Okay. True. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 three, five rappers worse than Magoo. Lil B. Blueface. Uh, Silk the Shocker. Uh, I mean, I can keep Crunchy yeah. Black. Yeah. Like, Crunchy I, can keep, I, I, I can keep going. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's Listen, a terrible the whole thing, I just didn't know. Like, I guess because Charlemagne said that. Like, because Charlemagne... Did Charlemagne say Magoo was the worst rapper? Of years, all time? Well, I ain't gonna say worst rapper, but he called him trash. I mean, he, he is ago. trash. I don't but think he's trash. No, no, no. I mean, he's not good. He's not trash. He's not good. He was listenable for being like him and Timberland made some jams. They man. did have some jams, and to and in my opinion, to say he's the worst rapper of all time is terrible. <laughs> Again, Lil B, yeah, Blueface, Vanilla Ice. Nah, Vanilla Ice was jam. I mean, he's corny and uh, cheap, but he was jam. Lil B, Blueface, Silk the Shocker, uh, O'Malley, Meek Mill's partner, oh. <laughs> and, uh, and whoever else the fifth person I was that I can't think of who yeah. was now, but I said them already. Yeah. Those are the five worst rappers of yeah. all time. Well, I it's probably it's more than that. I I'm sure it's think. more than that. I just got- uh, yo homeboy that's gonna drop a mixtape next week. Who? Yeah, uh, anybody. I'm just talking. Oh, about you just talking about general. General. Okay, I'm about yeah, to say yeah. it. Terrible. But anyway, yeah. So Magoo, I, I don't agree with that. It was messed up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's I, just, I don't even know. That man that. somewhere chilling, minding his right, money. Just- like you know what I'm saying. Like it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Y'all ruined that man whole quarantine <laughs> experience <laughs> for no reason. Magoo they ain't did nothing to nobody, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, why did he start trending, dog? Like, man, the internet is mean, man. Like, for no reason, though. That shit was funny, though. It's out of nowhere, dog. The internet is mean. Man. They so mean. That man was probably just chilling. Shout out to Magoo, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the VA. The whole VA. I don't know how they have Magoo somewhere just relaxing. Yeah, he just said. Y'all don't say it. He he's like, what is this on my timeline? I don't know. You know, he had that funny nasal <laughs> voice. Magoo straight, though. Yeah, Magoo, he all right. Uh, but anyway, y'all, this has been this week's episode of Res View. Make sure that you subscribe to youtube.com slash We Authentic Network. Uh, hit the alert button. Download and stream my album once, too. Yeah. I see it's doing pretty good in streams. Uh, make sure that you get that on all digital platforms right. where music is sold. Make sure you get that. Um, and follow me at J-A-Y-R-3-D. Where do we follow you at? At T-H-E-E-D-J-P-M. That's at the D-J-P-M. Resview t-shirts are coming soon. Make sure you check out yes. resview.com and we are signing out. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, give up, give up, give up I know you got doubts, but get to the bank